Okay, this is Cars All the Time, Car Search Engine. I'm your host, and we have the owner here, Mike, right? Mike Stowe, yes, sir. Okay, we've got here at the uh, Kills and Wheels, we've got a car called Nash Healy, correct? This is a Nash Healy, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your car. Well, in, 1950, in the early 1950s, both Kaiser and Nash were trying to create a youth image. Right. And independently, they both came up with the idea of building a sports car, which might bring you, younger people into the showroom. So um, they each came up with a, a car, the Kaiser's called a Kaiser Darren. And Nash came up with a car called Nash Healy. This car was partially built in Kenosha, Wisconsin, the engine and all that, sent to England. Donald Healy did a bunch of work on the chassis. Then it was all sent to Italy, and Pininfrina built the body, and then sent back to Kenosha where it was finished. <laughs> uh, so back and this forth. thing had been around the world, yeah. A Corvette at that time was about $3,200. These were $6,500. Wow, so double the six, price. Yeah, double the price of a wow. Corvette. So it was quite a pretty elaborate car of the time. Yeah, right. pretty well. So it did some racing. They did a lot of racing. They had them at Le Mans uh, several years and did really, really well in Le Mans. Uh, the, the suspension is a, is a Donald Healy uh, invention that he came up with in their, their, their actually arms that move this way. And that, that creates, a, that gives them a lot better handling than the old beam axles had. So okay. the car did handle better than most of the cars of the early 50s. Now, where'd Nash come in from? We're talking about the Healy, but where'd Nash come in? Well, Nash funded the whole deal. Oh. And then they were the ones that sold them through their showrooms, in their showrooms. So they came from Nash. Okay. And I'll open the hood seat. Sure, so sure. It has a big Nash six-cylinder motor in it. Um, and uh, Donald Healy built it. They built an aluminum head for it. I'm not sure who built it. Somebody built an aluminum head for it and put two SU carburetors on it. Um, they're about 120 horsepower, which is quite a lot of the of the era, because the Ford Flathead was 85. So, okay. So it's a pretty heavy-duty thing. This really runs good for a car of that age. It's a really nice car to drive. Great car to drive. Drives much better than than a Corvette of the time, or a Thunderbird of the time, or the Kaiser Darren. I have all those, and it's and this is a far better car to drive than any of those. So how many how many cars do you have? 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, this is one gorgeous car. Well, thank you. Uh, let's go back here to the interior, the car. Okay, I, I see we got bench seats here. Yep, this is all, all leather inside. Um, the, the convertible top is behind the seat, and the side curtains are in the trunk, so you can get buttoned into it if it starts to rain. <laughs> Well, that's good to know. Probably, probably going to leak a lot, but at least you, uh, yeah. you'll, hey, you'll get in out of the weather. Now, uh, uh, it's, I see it's a little bitty stick shift. It is the funniest little isn't it? Isn't that funny? <laughs> the Italians did some nice things in these cars. A lot of detail. Uh, the Americans really didn't have at that time. Right. So it's detailed. They made they made a hundred of these convertibles, and about 240 coupes. So, okay. Um, but you don't see a lot of coupes, but you see you see quite a few convertibles. Oh, do you? It's a yeah, it's a pretty pretty nice car. Of course, Italian steel, so they rotted out pretty badly. Oh yeah, uh, I'm sure. This one has been done like this for many many years. I think this so paint you, job's over 20 years old. Oh really? So you've had it for? A I've long had it a long time. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've uh, had gorgeous car. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank Enjoy. thank you.